UILTV.TV.com. It's your boy. <laughs> Chilling in live and direct. It's your boy, Smitty. Did it that. Now, let's get right off into this. Okay, so everybody wants to know, like, Smack, hey, did you see the J. Mill versus K. Shine battle? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. And I'm going to give you my recap on that battle, too. Now, first of all, let's just get one thing clear. Y'all saw in his video with Rapmatic talking about um, I should show him homage and that he made me. And if it wasn't for him, there would not be no URL. He wouldn't be able to say URL. You don't even sound right. You don't even make no sense. You was a delusional nigga. What are you talking about? You ain't made me. You, you ain't made me. When, when have you ever made me? When have you ever been a factor to the point that you made me? If you made me, then ask yourself this. Why I got more money than you? How you make a person that's doing better than you? If you can make a person that's doing better than you, then what are you doing for yourself? Huh? You tell me that. What are you doing for yourself? Talking about you made me and can't even make yourself. You were signing young money. You were signing young money and you couldn't even release a single. You really... Boy, you, oh, don't get me started with you, Jay Mills. You'll never eat again in this city, I tell you that. You better go somewhere where people don't know you. You better go somewhere where people don't know you. Except the next battle was the worst thing you could have ever done for your career. You better invest that money wisely you robbed Rare Breed Entertainment out of. I tell you that, buddy. He tried to get $100,000 from me. Said I should pay him $100,000. Did y'all see how the guy stunk up the whole event? He stunk up the whole event so bad they kicked him out at 6 o'clock. That's the... No battle rap venue ever ended at 6 o'clock. You hear me? Now what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't going to do that. A hundred thousand dollars. Right. I wish I would have. Especially for what you did. Ooh. I, ooh. Let me have paid him a hundred thousand dollars and that's what he did on that stage. My foot would still be up his ass. What are you talking about? Now nah, we ain't. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Look. And then on top of all that. You want to sit there and make it seem as though you built my platform. Let's just be real now. Let's just be real, people. There wasn't even a URL stage at the time. Neither a smack stage at the time. I was just a hustler. Just hustling DVDs. That, look, I was a hustler. I was busting many moves. Had nothing to do with them. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Did you put money in my pocket? Now, let me take that back. Definitely put money in my pocket. I sold some CDs. But wait, what I'm saying is before I did the CD, did you have anything but put money in my pocket? No, you didn't. Have you ever put somebody and bought them to my platform? No, you didn't either. Why does everybody want credit off what I done? Why does everybody want credit off of what I done? Loaded Lux, Arsenal, Murder Mook, T-Rex, J. Mills, Beasley. Everybody wants credit off what I done. What do you do? What do you do? It say Smith. Smith. That's what it says. If I left anybody out, then you could have a claim to it. But if my name is on it, Smith. That's me. Nobody else. Now, let me get to this recap. I'm, I'm going to touch some more on this stuff, but let me get to the recap. Now, I'm going to say this. Jay Mills was hot for his time. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. Jay Mills was hot for his time at the time when he was doing it. Did I think that he can match 
and confer to what battle rap is right now than what it was 10 years ago. I just left a window open. Because when you were that good like you were back then, there's a possibility you could pick it up. But at the same time, you got to be active. Look, I don't just say this. I do this. I know all about this. That's why there was no way he was going to get $100,000 from me. See, that's different between me and you, ARP. You can throw out all that money you want. I don't have to throw out. I throw out a little and get a lot. I throw out a little and get a lot. You throw out a lot and get a lot. So you almost break even. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. I'm not going to help him anyway. I can't wait to see you, buddy. It's only so long you can run from me. Trust me when I tell you this. We're going to meet one day. You better make sure Lawrence and Shot are with you. You're going to need it, buddy. You're going to need it, buddy. Trust me when I tell you that. Anyway, no, and I didn't let Champion cover that battle rap event. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Y'all, if y'all don't know right now, then keep being dumb. You never know. No, I didn't let them cover the event. There is no way you're going to cover that event. Stay at home, watch from the sideline, just like I did. You're not going to get that press coverage. You're not going to get no setup in there. Nope, nope, not on my watch, buddy. You want to you wanna know what competition is? You want to know what big competition is? There you go. There you have it. It don't get no bigger than me, buddy. It don't get no bigger than me, buddy. <laughs> That's how I felt. That's how I felt as Joy did. Ha ha ha! 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 <laughs> Who the, man, please, don't you ever, don't you ever compare yourself to me, <laughs> man, please, oh, man, please, you gave that man all that money, <laughs> man, please, I wouldn't have given him a dime. Hey. Get out of here. I wouldn't have given him a nickel. <laughs> That's why he mad at me. He was expecting me to be the one to put some money in his pocket. You ain't do nothing. You has been. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't been good in 10 years. I wish I would give you fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 to stink off my stage. Right, right. <laughs> you gotta try that with somebody else. So, I don't know, man. You know, can't help but feel for the guy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, can't help but feel for the guy. I mean, rap career and went down the drains. Got kicked off two, three record labels. Nobody likes his music. The girl cheating on him. None of his homies really gonna ride for him. I guess the smart thing to do was to come back to battle rap, I guess. Offer some type of old reputation you used to have. But I know how this game go. I've been doing this for a long time. It's not that easy like you would want it to be. And you just can't say smart, slick things to me like, I don't know what's going on. I didn't see them come and go and been responsible for a lot of them coming and going. This would be no different. Am I surprised that what happened on that stage? Nah, nah, no, I'm not. I'm not surprised at all. Now, 
I would say this. I was expecting for him to be a little bit better. Just a little bit. I knew he was going to die. I mean, I knew that. That's Come on. Come on now. Let, let's just be honest. You're talking about a guy who never wrote for an MC ever in his whole career. When, when they rap back then, when they rap back then, those raps were for everybody. Rapping back then was who had the most raps. That's how raps and battle raps was determined who won, who lasted longer, who had the most raps. And these raps would be said to everybody. He said it in Brooklyn. He said it in Harlem. He said it in Queens. He said it in Manhattan. He said it in Philly. He said it in Jersey. The same old raps. Now you want to go up against a guy who writes for different opponents every three, four months, one time, and only can use the material one time and one time only with a battle rap community that knows what lyrics are? Nah, you just can't be gone 10 years and come back and think you finna rock the stage because you was rapping to a beat. Nah, I'm not surprised. I knew, I knew a hundred thousand dollars. Five, you, see, you gave him a five battle deal? Are you crazy? You, ooh, battle troop, battle troop, bang the gavel on that clown. You gave him a five-battle deal. You know you got four more to go, right, buddy? You got one, two, three, four. You got four more to go. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> ah, you have four. You stuck with that contract. <laughs> That's right, Dave Mills. <laughs> Show me some love. Give me that. <laughs> you didn't know I sent them over. I set that up. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I set that up. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to book the people who started out with me. I did that to you. Look at my face. I did that to you. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah, we set them up. <laughs> we set you up, ARP. <laughs> yeah, we got, you got four more battles to go. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> yeah, you know, so first round, he came out <laughs> trying to relive and, and re-bring back his battle with Mook with the Larry Bird jersey on. <laughs> Man, what did he think? The crowd was going to go crazy or something? Before that battle was over, everybody wanted to kick his ass. Everybody. Jay Mill. <laughs> 200 niggas in the venue waiting to Jay Mills. <laughs> Man, everybody wanted to. I'm surprised he got out of here alive. <laughs> I'm surprised he got out of here alive. <laughs> you got a good heart, AIP. I tell you that. You have a good heart. <laughs> you have a good heart. What are you, Christian? Huh? What? What are you, Christian? <laughs> you gave a man a, a hundred thousand dollars to just stand there? <laughs> Hell, I'll rap for you. I'll, I'll rap for you. You heard me? <laughs> now I'm saying, I'll rap for you. <laughs> You just giving out money like that, and a person don't even have to rap for you. Let me tell you this between me. I don't hardly give. I don't hardly give them anything. 
I don't hardly give them anything. So if they mess up on my day, I ain't give them nothing anyway. <laughs> you haven't gotten to that level yet. You haven't gotten to that level yet. <laughs> he gave this he gave this guy who haven't touched the stage in 15 years. He never touched the battle rap stage ever. All his rap was in a closet. In the closet and on the corner. He never rocked the stage. He don't have no performance. He has no believability. He has no he has no idea how battle rap is in this day of age. And he got a hundred thousand dollar check just for standing there looking stupid. <laughs> He had three rounds of trash. One, two, three rounds of trash. First round, K-Shine, body bag. Second round, K-Shine, body bag. Third round, K-Shine, put his body bag in the body bag. You heard me? Nice. What a way to go out. Then he got kicked out of the venue. <laughs> he got kicked out of his own venue. Talking about he ran out of time. Right. Right. Because you ain't no real nigga time. You ain't no real nigga time. You heard me? Now I'm saying? If you was no real nigga time, you would have had all the time in the world. You think I, I don't get kicked out of venues. Matter of fact, my venues last nine, ten hours of venue, a battle rap event, nine, ten hours, ten o'clock in the morning to eleven o'clock at night. And I still have time to do what I want to do. That's the difference in us. He got kicked out the club. Because <laughs> he was not on real nigga time, you heard me? Yeah, yeah. K Shine 3 zip over J Mill. Zip him the up. Zip him the up. Brrr. You heard me? Now I'm saying? And this your boy Smitty to that. Giving you my recap of J Mill versus K Shine. Body bag. Body bag. You heard me? Time out. I should have gave him a hundred thousand dollars. Right. Like hell. Like hell I would. <laughs> well, at least you got four more battles coming up on Red Breed Entertainment. Let's <laughs> see what the battle rock community got to say about that. Get a ghostwriter. <laughs> You need a ghostwriter, Mills. You need a ghostwriter. You never eat again. <laughs> he prophesied his own name. J. Mills. Jobbing for Mills. You need a job to get a meal. <laughs> and I ain't hiring over here, buddy. You need a job to get a meal and I ain't hiring over here. Starve. You're going to starve if it comes down to the URL. <laughs> you stuck with that you stuck with that bum ARP <laughs> for four more battles <laughs> he, he thought I was going to I thought I was going to block that battle. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you really thought I was going to block that battle? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we set you up. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to deal with him four more times. By the time we get to that last battle, 
Nobody going to have faith in you. Nobody, nobody going to rock with you. <laughs> the joke's on you, Jack. <laughs> the joke's on you, Jack. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> That's what you get for taking that mook and bird battle from me. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. Gotcha. <laughs>